Hi, Luna. Can I get Paul? Thank you. This is Luna, and today she's going to teach you all how to use the doggy bib. Um, I have treats because treats is what motivates her. So we'll see uh, different steps that we use to get that together, right? So give me half half. You ready to go? Here you go, Jen. Okay, so you ready, Luna? We're going to show them. So the first step is teaching them how to touch. Um, put a hand in front of them. You want to touch it with your nose? You say yes. Give a little trick. And then next time you want to attach the actual command to it. So for Luna, I say touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. So that was the first step. The touch command is kind of what helped us get gradually to the towel. So again, we put the hand out. Touch. Touch. Yes. <laughs> touch. You don't have to be that aggressive either. Let me get a little treat. And that's the first step. So the next step is getting her uh, used to the towel. What is this? The towel. So the next step was getting you, Luna, used to the body, doggy dip towel that we have here. As you can see, this is the one that's going to go over the bowl. Get her play with it a little bit. Sniff it. Be used to it. So it's not something she's averse to. But don't mess it up. Thank you. And now we do the touch command with the towel. So we're going to touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Sure. Touch. Yes. Not pull. Touch. Yes. You give a little treat. Give time to adjust the treat. And then you can do that a few more times. Uh, Luna has a short uh, patience for tra training. So I usually do maybe like two or three times each exercise. So maybe like 15 minutes a day. Um, depending on your dog, if you can do it longer, that will help. The more time you do it, the faster they will pick it up. So the next step will be putting the towel on the doggy bib bowl and teaching her to actually wipe her mouth. This is something that she will want to start doing every time your dog drinks, inserting that command. Uh, I've been doing this for almost two months with her and now after she drinks, she actually wipes her mouth uh, without a command. But it did take at least a month and a half to two months of consistent reminding her the command of using the towel. And for me, I use the word mouth. So when I say mouth, she touches the towel after she drinks water. All right, so I have the doggy bib mounted on the wall. You will have the option of having this directly on the floor if you have smaller dogs. Um, but I chose this one because I feel like it's perfect for her height. And then we have the doggy bib towel that's made to fit over it very easily. So you can take it in, take it out and wash it. So the next step is teaching them how to touch the towel while it's on there on there. So. Miss Luna is going to show us. So now I want her to, do, to touch it with her mouth, in her mouth. And the command that I use is the word mouth. So when she does it, yes, gentle. Thank you, good girl. As you see, she's not the most uh, graceful. Um, so the way Bobby, the doggy baby is meant to be, wait, Luna, wait, it's a little flexible. So that hopefully will send the heavy handed ones that hurt. And this is another step that you will have to do multiple times. So right now, like I said earlier, Luna does it on her own after drinking. So Luna, water, 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 drink some water. So she'll drink some water and then we will want her to mouth, mouth, to wipe her mouth right after. Good girl. Yes. So as you can see, she's very full motivated. <laughs> All right, relax. Now you have to sit, sit. And wait wait so we're gonna show her again okay so you want to guide your dog towards the towel and put their mouth in there and touch was the first one and then once they start doing it we want to switch to mouth so that the command can be specific for the mouth drying so mouth yes good girl get some water good girl now uh -uh. see this is what we're trying to avoid right but right now there was no command involved. Okay, get some water. Water. Good girl. What she do after water? Mouth. Water and mouth. Yes. Now water again. Water. There you go. Mouth. Good girl. Let's see. Now you are extra eager because you have treats. But there you go. Mouth. Do it again. Good girl. Thank you. Give me a high five. 
And thank you everyone for watching the video. If you have questions, feel free to send us a message. Hopefully these three steps uh, will help you have a good experience with a doggy bib, uh, less wet floors, less stepping in wet floors with socks, which is something that I absolutely hate. Um, the more consistently you do it, the sooner you'll see results. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, Luna now does it without command. And, um, and yeah, I uh, hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for being here.